I have a pretty big haul video to share with you guys, so I'm just going to jump into it because I have stuff everywhere. <laughs> we went to a couple thrift stores and an antique store. So the kids and I went together and we found this lustery cat with creepy red eyes that we picked up. Yeah, he was $3, but Gabriel was really into him, so we got him. This will probably be in the live sale. We picked up some Bath and Body Works stuff. Like, this is almost full. Um, it's Magic in the Air. I love that one. A Thousand Wishes. We got those. Um, picked up, you guys saw these in the live video. They were on the shelf behind me. These are more, obviously, modern Santa face mugs. But they're a lot cuter than the ones that you see at, like, Dollar Tree and stuff. I thought they were, like, better made. Like, I don't know. And one day, alas, these will be <laughs> vintage as well, right? I thought a dollar a piece was awesome for that. Then at that same thrift store where all that came from, we got this holiday time. It's a Walmart one um, tree topper. It's a glass tree topper for a dollar. Then we picked up this, like, what is that? A hound dog, right? Hound dog planter. It's got some paint wear and stuff, but it was really cute. And that's kind of interesting how they did the bead on his eye like a tear. He's a Nesco. Two bucks. We're going to have him in a live sale as well. When you come over here, I got this quilted stocking. It's a handmade stocking. I thought that was really simple and pretty. I got it's a snowman pattern. So that's going to be in the sale. Now these I think I had picked for myself. Like, uh, I got them for the sale, but then I'm kind of like, maybe I'll hold on to them for a while. So I got this Santa. Um, they were fairly inexpensive, I was surprised. I think Aaron found this guy, and I wanna say he was like $12.99. And then this guy needs some work, um, but he was about $12 too, I think. Um, I don't know. I don't know if his his face was sticky, but I was able to kind of wash him with soap and water. But the paint here is kind of sticky. So I don't know. I don't know if I want to try and repaint him. Um, but he is like really <laughs> like he's seen some better days. So I don't know. I don't think he can be stuck in water like um, like a bath of like um, what is that? OxyClean. That's why I just bought some of OxyClean and water to maybe help clean him up a bit. I don't think he can go in water. I don't think it's a good idea. That's why he's probably so gross. But they're still so cute. These are from my live sale earlier, so we won't talk about those. Not my live sale, my live video. Um, so we won't talk about those. You'll have to go watch that video. All right, so then I spotted this guy in its original box. I was kind of upset because when the lady was trying to wrap it in paper, she broke the, the top of it, but it is, you know. Oh, it is older. Um, this actually still has the tag, so I'm wondering if she didn't charge me for this because everything else she took the tag off of. So this guy was $7 in the box. So I thought that was really cool. Unbreakable tree topper by Bradford. That was awesome find. Um, let's see, that was at the antique store and the Santas were at the antique store. And I think this is the only other thing from the antique store. This little Christmas bulbs box. I wanna say it was like three or $4. I mean, I wish I could go to like an estate sale and buy these for like a quarter, but I just don't see them around here. I wish. All right. So then, is that it? oh wait, this was the last thing from the antique store. I got a 1968 Empire Mold Santa. And so I was debating in there because um, I've never owned one. Like I don't ha <clears throat> have one. But what he was selling for was about what they were asking for on eBay. So Aaron's like, just get it. Just get it for yourself. And I mean, at first I kind of felt bad, but I had such a bad day that day. 
I was like, I deserve this. So I'm keeping this guy. Um, oh wait, and I got this at the antique store. Guess it was more than I thought. So this, they were using it as a display. It had doll hats and stuff in it, or you could buy the box on its own. But oh my gosh, I thought it was just gorgeous. I mean, it might be like a three pro, but I think it'll be stunning with like Christmas ornaments in it. And then after that, just whatever. I can put like antique photos or something in there. I think it'll look great. All right, so then on to the thrift, I believe. Yeah, it's a thrift store. We got this little guy and stuff stuck to him. He is, what is he? He is, oh gosh, I don't remember his name. Fun, fun world. Glen Cove, Ohio. I wonder if he's like a little fair thing. Made in Taiwan, but he's a red little reindeer. Stuffed animal, so we got that. They had a 75% off shelf, and I've always noticed this tin, but they wanted $10 for the tin. So this time it was 75% off, so I picked it up, and this is going to be in the sale. Um, as well as the little deer, that'll be in the sale. Um, I don't know about these. I don't know about that. Definitely not those yet anyway. Not him. The other things, yes. All right, then this is at the thrift store as well in all its vintage glory. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I wonder, I'm going to go plug it in when I'm done with this and see if it lights up. It looks like whatever, maybe it had more tinsel down here to go all the way around and it's gone, but still, that's like tacky great, isn't it? I love it. Then, um, let's see. These are the two Snoopies that Gabriel found for resale. So he's gonna do those in the sale. He's gonna offer those items. He was excited to find those. He thought they were really cute. Then Gabriel picked up this bird and he thought it was cute because it was uh, like Christmassy. And he says, people like birds. So he's gonna see how that does. He also got this Gobel Squirrel, and it's in like great shape. So he's gonna put that in the sale as well. Um, then I found this bag of bottle brush trees. I was super excited to find them for only a dollar. So I don't know what's going on in there, or like what's that stuff, but. I don't know. And we got some candy canes for 50 cents just to use for decorations. Then, that's the theme of the, um, the haul videos. And then we got this little bird shaker. Thought that was kind of cute. I wish that I could have found the other one, but didn't. These are from the live sale. Um, we got a little snowman ornament. A lot of times I'll put these in for free in packages. Then we picked up this brass, like, was that a, like a wiener dog? This brass dog figurine. It's a beast. So hopefully when someone gets it, they have other items, you know, to make up com combined shipping. Then um, at that same thrift store, let's see, these were my only finds from Goodwill today was that. But I had to grab these. These are from 1996, um, right? I mean, I'll probably have to sell them. Uh, I thought I saw a date. But my, my little brother loved 101 Dalmatians when it came out when he was little. So I remember these being in the, the Happy Meals and stuff. But they're little snow globes. I don't know. I thought that was awesome. So I'm going to see how those do. And then we got a set of these deer. Now these are super tacky and cheesy, but still cute. But in order to get even the two little ones, I had to buy the whole set. And the mama, she has like a broken neck. And so her head pops off. But you could glue her on. But she's all the tacky gold good goodness. <laughs> so she's pretty cool. And then the last few things that I have here are these two were taped together. 
They're made in Taiwan, it says coffee pads, but it's this great little Santa. And then you've got this like hugging Santa there. And then this is like new old stock here. It's, it spells Noel. And you can set that up. Got that. And then we got a vintage bottle brush tree. It says made in Taiwan. I mean, it does have some like smushy issues, but you'd have to like try and fix that. That's what I do when I buy them used. Or you can go to like Dollar Tree, for example, and you can buy the little foam ornament balls and you can glue them in and make one of those big fat, the ornament trees. I do that as well. So that is everything else that I got like between this week and last week for like live sales and eBay and our decorations here for Christmas. Um, let me know down below guys, what was your favorite item from this haul and what might you have left behind? I usually like to take a guess. I'm gonna say a favorite item might be the Santa Clauses, even though they're kind of dirty. Maybe the, tr oops, the tree topper because it's cute and it's in its pretty box. And then left behind, I'm gonna guess like maybe this and probably the tin, maybe. Or maybe these ornaments, I don't know. It's all fun and games. So you guys leave me that information down below. Don't forget on Sundays, I have live sales at one in the afternoon Eastern time. Um, so that's where you'll see a lot of the items that I show you throughout the week show up. Don't forget to go over and check out our Instagram because we post new things over there before they ever make it over to YouTube. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye.